everybody it's Andrea welcome back to the channel I'm just trying to sort the light out because it's a bit shaded in here for some reason not sure why I'm here to do my completed pages for May I think it's 17 I might have miscounted it's a huge stack of books there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen no it's gonna be more than that because I did three in one of them I don't know. I'll count them afterwards. Anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. Uh, these are in no particular order. In fact, the two of the first ones I'm going to show you are, are the first ones I actually, the last ones I coloured. So I bought this book from the works on the weekends and I was testing out the Scribblicious pens and I just coloured the first one in. Um, if I was doing it again, I wouldn't have done the background blue but I wanted to try it out and see what it looked like unfortunately Jennifer and Paul were playing water pistols outside in the garden and they were spraying and some of it hit the book so the ink has run in places I've tried to cover it up the little dots were yellow well they are sort of yellow I used the neon yellow but it fades far too quickly uh, but yeah I mean I enjoyed doing it it took me an hour it didn't take very long at all so that was that was quite fun put them behind me out of the way oh, let's put them there for now and then um, I did one in uh, colour art the pattern collection um, this was a book I bought again on, I bought this on the weekend from Tesco and I did the second picture in and this was uh, done with I think it was the ones I got from Lidl's um, I got a load of brush pens they were 3.99 424 I've got three sets two for me and one for Jen and we were colouring um, up at the pub because I took her colouring book just so that she would be have something to do so that when we were chatting she wouldn't get bored so but my dad and Paul were chatting so me and her we would just colour for a bit and I just did this one using them it was very nice oh is it the scribblish pens I'm not sure No, it wasn't. It was definitely the ones from um, Lidl's. They're really nice ones. I like those ones. I I did. This is the one I did three in. This is why I said it's it's definitely it could be more than that. So I did three in this one, which is Creative Haven Rose Windows. This was, again was using the alcohol markers I got from Lidl's, um, the eight set one. I love those pens. So one and again just using the same pet pens and this one I love the pen these pens in this book I think they look fantastic and that one Jennifer helped me with the colors picking the colors this book I can see me finishing this year because I really love coloring in it I finally finished one in the relax with art pocket collection now I'm not gonna buy these because these are just annoying but I did the two Easter eggs and it's that's been sitting around since before April so yeah, some of the, the pictures, I'm, I'm currently working through a stack of whips. The whips sit beneath my desk and I pull them out and do a little bit each day on one of them. So this took me several days to finish because I only did it for about 10 or 15 minutes just to get a bit of a whip done. Um, but yeah, I, am, I, I will get there eventually, hopefully. Oops, I just knocked the next one. Next one is Mandalas for Beginners. Um, this is Jade Summer. And again, this was done, I think this was done using the markers from Lidl's as well. It might not have been, but I think it was actually looking at it. Again, a quick one, doesn't take very long. Um, it's just nice to pass the time on one of those. Uh, colour by number mandalas, Jade Summer. I did all three. There are four Jade Summer colour by numbers, and I've got all four. The fourth one is the Christmas one, but I did all three of the non Christmas ones. Um, again, this was these were done using the Oh Hoo Hoo markers, and I think they look it looks ever so nice. Yes, you can still see the numbers through, but I don't mind that. I'm not a big colour by number person. I, I kind of like it on patterns like this. I think it looks really nice, so I can't wait to do some more in this one with the. Oh hoo hoo's, they look really nice. Oh hoo hoo's, I will be happy, happy to buy again. Absolutely no question. Uh, the flowers one. I did this one. Again, oh hoo hoo markers all the way. I absolutely love those markers. I admit, I can't afford Copics. I probably never will. 
so I'm happy to have the oh hoo hoos and I did two in beautiful patterns I love beautiful patterns because it fills the page and I did this one oh, excuse me I've got a bit of a sniff today and I did this one and I just think that looks beautiful those colors are stunning and this is all oh hoo hoo markers I can't wait to do the next one. I'll be doing a few more of these this month as well. Again, this is a book that's not going to be around for that long now. Now I'm I'm happy with my colour combos. Uh, Pin-up models. We coloured in this on camera, didn't we? Um, here it is in all its glory with the uh, textured brick work that we did using the Koinor pen and the alcohol marker it's worked better on that side than that one maybe I didn't actually do it I thought I had let me just have a look have I done it oh yeah I've done it um yeah that's fine I love that picture I think it looks really nice another whip that's been hanging around for a couple of months is one from Hannah Carlson Seasons I absolutely adore this book I absolutely do um and it's only like the third picture in and it's this lady here with her flowers in her hair and I've used the same reds on her hair sorry on, on her dress the flowers and part of her her head dress and this was done um, using the polychromos I'm really getting to grips with them now love loving them um, there is some sparkle on it which would be the jelly rolls metallics and uh, the glitter ones I don't know what they're called uh, but this has taken ages um, but I really enjoyed it again I blended the background which was pencil with the um, the blender marker alcohol marker and I love it and it looks fine and I can still go in and do the next page without any issues so I really really love that I think that's my favorite one of the month that and the pin-up models it's hard to choose sometimes then we've got 50 Nighttime Mandalas, that's Camellia Angel Cova. This is one for novellas, Colour Your Horde, May 2021. So this was the first picture in this book that I've done. And again, as I like doing <coughs> my patterns with gel pen, glitter gel pen at that matter. I haven't done the front yet, I did that last. I did the first one, I do them in order, and I've done the first one with glitter gel pen. And this is a mixture of brands, this is Link Shine, Arteza, a and Art, and some unbranded ones that I've got hanging around. Just trying to use up some of the, the ones. And I love this book, so I do love doing my patterns. And I do love doing my patterns with glitter gel. So yeah. In a way, this is another one for Colour Your Horde. This is from Gnoming Around the World by Asia. Try again, Ava Brown. Um, the page is getting a bit knackered, but because uh, it's a PDF. I love this. This was done do using the Oh Hoo Hoo markers. As you can see, there's different colours in the sky. Um, it's like grey to the clouds. I did put some stars in that's not actually on there, as you can see, and that was done using just the Link Shine Gold pen. I love this. I just... It's Egypt. I love anything to do with ancient Egypt. I'm not going to lie. So I really, really love that one. So I did three, two, sorry, not three, in uh, two in 300 Mandalas by Sally Berry. Again, this book I love. I love having it by my bed at night when I'm lying in bed if I can't sleep. Get a few markers out and have a colour. This one, I think think was done yeah this was done with the, the markers from Lidl's because I've had them out a lot this month and I really like them I love those markers I'm glad I bought two sets of them and if they get them in again at, um, back to school time in September I'm be buying all the colouring supplies they have <laughs> I really will I will and this one this was done using the pastel oh hoo hoo markers which I, again I love the oh hoo hoos the pastels are lovely I, I used one of the pastel ones in um the pin-up models book as well uh, yeah love it absolutely love it love this book I'm going to be doing some of that this month in June um, Fiercely Gorgeous is next this is by Evelyn Lisa this Liza this again looks like um, pin-up models this has got a bit crunched but I'm not too worried about this is because it got wet Jennifer spilled some water <laughs> uh, so it's a bit like that but it, the picture's all right so 
and the rest of the books were. Well. It's only a, a little bit, so I'm not worried about it. It's a bit crinkly. Part one. And there's two pages of each, so I can always redo them again, as you can see, look. But we did this one, and it's like I said, I this is I haven't done any shading or <coughs> blending with pencils, uh, which I think I would now, and one of my markers ran out, so I had to change it in the middle for the skin. I could have made it look better, I could have given it some blusher, but I also blacked out the background because I think these backgrounds are too busy. And unless I was given a like really dark hair, like really dark black or brown hair, I will black out the backgrounds. You can still see the pattern behind, which I think looks like a really posh demand damp um, sort of wallpaper. And as there's two sets, I can always do it again and colour in the roses. I've seen videos of people doing their completed pages, it's like an hour long, and I'm like, how do they talk for an hour about their pages? Okay, they do a lot more than I do. There you go. Two more, we got two more Jade Summers, uh, 50 Easy Mandalas. Let me just find the one. Oh dear, it's so hot. Where's my ticket gone? Gosh, I am getting through these, aren't I? And that was this one. I thought I wanted to just use a couple of my greys. Um, because I've got loads of greys left over from my Touch 5 markers, the first set of alcohol markers I bought. So I thought, let's just pick uh, three greys in one of the tones, and a, a light, a medium, and a dark, and we'll just colour in a mandala, and that's that's what came out. So it was an interesting experiment. Don't know if I'd do it again, but I, you know, I never used the grey, so why not? I might as well I do it. So yeah, I mean, if you've got a load of one colour left that you don't use very often, just do a pattern with them. I still got loads of greys. I might do another one, but it won't be for a long time. And the last picture I've got is another one of those whips I've had hanging around forever. Yeah, this one has been hanging around for a good while. Again, this is one of the books I really love. Jade Summer Intricate Patterns. I've done a few in here. This is the one I finished off this month. Bege uh, to be fair, I did most of it this month because at the beginning of the month, all that was done was like two of these and I did the rest of it. And I've just used three colours, gold, red and black. That's it. There's no other colour on it. It's just gold, red and black. And I think it makes a lovely pattern. I, I was really quite pleased with the way that one turned out. I mean, just by using three three colours. So, I mean, I've done a bit of experimenting this month on just using limited colours. So, obviously, the three greys in one and red, gold and black on there looks really nice. Another time I might use black, silver and blue. A, you know, a light blue or a dark blue. Or green, red and gold. Or blue, red, and gold. Um, I like. I, mean, I quite enjoyed that. Anyway, those are all of my coloured pages for the month of May. I hope you've enjoyed this video. What was your favourite one? Like I said, mine uh, is between the Pin Up Models one by Demita Victoria and Hannah Carls, and one been hanging around for a while. I love both of those pictures a hell of a lot. I love them. So let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below. Uh, give it a thumbs up and I'll hopefully see you very very soon with a colour and chat or another video I've got my book reading wrap up to do as well soon. I will see you very soon. Take care people. Bye.